Because I Liked You Better by A. E. Houseman 1859-1936 Because I liked you better than suits a man to say It irked you and I promised to throw the thought away To put the world between us we parted stiff and dry Goodbye, said you, forget me, I will, no fear, said I. If here where clover whitens, the dead man's knoll you pass, and no tall flower to meet you starts in the trefoiled grass, halt by the headstone naming, the heart no longer stirred, and say the lad that loved you, was the one that kept his word. Okay, so let's see. Um, Houseman, A. Houseman, was a classical scholar, um, particularly Latin, and also a poet. Um, I think he didn't do very well at Oxford University to start with, uh, but later he, I think he became a, a don at Cambridge. Okay, so what's this poem about? Okay, this poem is about unrequited love. Yeah, this is uh, somebody who loves... Uh, um, it's about a man who loves a woman, but she doesn't love him. Yeah, uh, and... Uh, well, it, it, the poem, it's quite short, quite simple. It explains that uh, they met and he was definitely in love with her, but she wasn't very happy about him and she told him effectively she wanted him to uh, stay away from her um, so he did by dying let's let's read it and look at it yeah I think uh, maybe this is a metaphor that uh, uh, feeling love for somebody who doesn't feel love for you is like an in, a death inside because I liked you better than suits a man to say. So, I was really keen on you. I liked you better. I loved you a lot. Yeah, than is reasonable or suitable or appropriate for a man to say. It irked you. It made you angry that I was so in love with you. And I promised to throw the thought away. <coughs> so, I promised to try not to love you to throw the thought of love or thoughts of us being together, I threw it away. To put the world between us, so we can, we, 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 we separ we're separate. we going to separate. So clearly they must have been together a, a bit, at least at the beginning. <coughs> we parted stiff and dry. So this, this is talking about their attitude. They were both very stiff and... Uh, not and very dry with the, their words they didn't say a lot goodbye said you forget me so she says to him goodbye forget me I will no fear said I so I definitely will no fear means here certainly said I okay so she says forget me and I say I really will and then the whole thing takes a turn because uh, now suddenly he's dead. If here where clover whitens, the dead man's knoll you pass. So this is describing his, his grave. If you remember from the other day, this word knoll means a, a mound. So the dead man's knoll, this is the mound where um, somebody has been buried. It's the, ma the mound of earth that sinks into the ground and clover clovers um, a plant with three uh, leaves or four if you're lucky uh, and it has either white or pink, pink flowers so he's describing the, the grave and he says if you pass by my grave where there is white clover and there are no tall flowers uh, and the grass is covered in these this clover because a trif trefoil is another word for a clover. So if you pass by and you see this 
the, the, this uh, tomb halt by the headstone so stop by the stone naming the heart no longer stirred so like this I've forgotten you yeah I will stay away from you I will never be with you yeah um, and say the lad that loved you was the one that kept his word so by visiting me you're not actually staying away but I who really loved you was the one who really did stay away uh, and I kept my word I did what I promised to do so enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon bye for now because I liked you better by A.E. Houseman.